Morning everyone, my name is Natalie, I'm from Seriously Limited and today I'm going to talk to you about making tax digital and how you activate your new VAT returns in Xero. So without further ado, we will jump to our slides. Here we go. So this will all begin on Monday the 1st of April 2019 and if you haven't already then please check out our earlier video which talks to you all about when you should activate the new VAT return and when you shouldn't. So before you go any further, if you haven't watched that video or you're not sure of when to do that, then please go and check out that video and then come back here and watch this one too. So moving on. First of all, you're going to need to sign up for the new Making Tax Digital BAT submissions through your business tax account and you're going to need to wait confirmation from HMRC that that has happened. Next, you're going to want to go into Xero to activate your new VAT return. So to do that, what you're going to do is use the blue banner across the top of the screen and navigate to the accounting tab, which is going to open up the drop down menu. You're going to go, want to go to reports and then back return. Now, of course, if you have favorited the back return report, then just like me here on this screen, you're going to see the back return is actually in that drop down menu. So however you get there, we get to the back return in the same way we used to. The screen we're now faced with will be the old version of the VAT return, but what we see is a new pop-up option comes up on the right-hand side of the screen which says try the new report. Now if you do not need to move to making tax digital VAT returns because your threshold is under 85,000 and you've chosen not to opt in voluntarily, then by all means you stick with the old one. But if you have opted in either because you're mandated or because you've done it voluntarily, then you're going to need to move to this new report. So. We click the button. What's going to happen next is going, Xero is going to take you to a screen where it's you'll need to link your Xero directly to your business tax account. Now just follow the steps on screen. I can't show you screenshots of them all because there's a lot of private information no matter who's I show you. So it'd be a nightmare to try and redact it all. So just follow the steps on screen. They are very simple. I have done it and you will get there. What happens is one of the final screens you see is this one, which I can show you. And uh, this is where you have to grant authority for Xero to be linked to your business tax account or your VAT information. So you click the big green button and you only have to do this bit once every 18 months. And then in 18 months time, we'll have to repeat the process, presuming of course HMRC so have not changed the rules again. So, now when we come back to zero and we go and find that back return, just in the exact same way, you can see there it's in the same place in the menu. What we're faced with now is this screen when we come into the back return. You can see it's very different. What we're seeing here is a lot of information on one screen. First thing we'll talk about is over here we have a new toggle to turn on or off a widget on the dashboard. So this is turned off. If we clicked it and turned it on and we went back to our dashboard, I've taken out all the banking information, but essentially you can see here that what we have is the VAT return. We can see when it's due and when the deadline is and when the last time the information was updated from HMRC into our zero. Because that's what's happening now. HMRC is giving the information to zero rather than zero giving the information to the revenue. So back in the back return screen, we can see over here, anything that needs attention. So these are our back returns. I've obviously got a period that has ended and a new period that started before my ended period has been submitted to the revenue. And most people are in that position. No, not many people file on the first day of the quarter. So down here, we will eventually see, once we've filed at some back returns, we will start seeing them listed underneath in the file section. If you wanted to go and see one of the old VAT returns, you can see there's a blue area down at the bottom that says open non-MTV VAT returns. If you just click to that, it takes you back to the old style. So once we open the VAT return, this is what it looks like. Now you'll notice that where we used to have the VAT return and then the VAT audit report or the VAT detail report, now it, we have two options for that detail. We have transactions by VAT bot and transactions by tax rate. So those show us the exact same information, but they lay it out in a slightly different fashion. There isn't one that's better than the other. It depends on how you, as the user, prefer to view your information. 
You'll notice you can make manual adjustments to each box right here within the back return. I would urge you to check with a professional, a bookkeeper, an accountant before you make any manual adjustments. Um, but you, the possibility to do them is there. Now, this is the transactions by that box, just so you can see what it looks like. And just, just like Zero always do, their reports have the blue link. So if you're wondering, when you're looking at it, you're thinking, oh, what's that transaction all about? Why has that got to my back return? I don't remember doing that. You can click straight through and check out a sales invoice, or purchase bill, or spend money. And it would take you straight to it, and you can make any changes that you need to because you might have found an error. This is obviously before you submit the return. You'll notice as well there's an export button at the top and that means that we can take everything out to Excel or PDF if we want to out of zero. So further down the back return now we're looking at the bottom half of those boxes. Again those are just buttons that are there for all the boxes um, and we have now the blue button that says submit to HMRC. When we click that button it will ask us to confirm it before it sends it but then it allows the information to flow straight to the revenue. Nothing further to do because we've already connected it earlier in the video, we no longer have to type in the username and the password like we had to do in the old way. So there we go, it's asking for the permissions, so submit. Yep, and that's what you get. You get your ID just like you would if you submitted online. You get your timestamps and the period for which you filed. So if we now commit to continue back, so now we can see that that one that was previously in the needs attention has now moved down to the filed area. And a handy little thing I think is here, it tells us how much VAT is due. So it's that reminder we don't have to keep opening up the back return just to find out how much we need to pay. Now, the revenue have not changed their rules around paying. You pay in the exact same way as you did previously. So if you have a direct debit mandate set up, Obviously, you'll have nothing further to do at this stage. They will just take the payment as normal. But if you don't, and you make payments manually in some way by bank transfer or a check, then obviously you'll need to go and make that payment just like normal. We can see now the widget on the dashboard has updated, and we can see it's now updated two minutes ago because we've got that live link, and it's showing us when our next VAT return is due. So that's everything from me folks. That is a whistle top tour of making tax digital back returns in zero. If any of you want any help or support, please drop me a message on our Facebook page. It's seriously limited and I'll be happy to get back to you. Bye.